Well, good morning, boys and girls. Today's story is my favorite. I've been waiting for this. It's just so exciting. One of the stories that I've read about Robert Munch a lot has been Mortimer. And Robert Munch, as we said, has written lots of stories about realistic fiction. Realistic means that it happened to him or to somebody he knows. And fiction means he changed it a little bit to make it more interesting and more exciting. With Michael Marchenko being the illustrator, Mortimer is my best story. Listen. One night, Mortimer's mother looked at him, t I mean, took him upstairs to go to bed. Thump, 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 thump. When they got upstairs, Mortimer's mother opened the door to his room. She threw him into bed and said, Mortimer, be quiet. Mortimer shook his head. Yes. Remember what his mother said. The mother shut the door. Then she went back down the stairs. Thum, 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 thum. As soon as she got back downstairs, Mortimer sang. Cling, clang, rattle, bing, bang. Gonna make my noise all day. Cling, clang, rattle, bing, bang. Gonna make my noise all day. Is he really sleeping? No. Nope. Mortimer's father heard all that noise. He came up the stairs. Thump, 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 thump. He opened the door and yelled, Mortimer, be quiet. Mortimer shook his head. Yes. Looks like a strict dad, right? Watch this. The father went back down the stairs. Thump, 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 thump. As soon as he got to the bottom of the stairs, Mortimer sang, Cling, clang, rattle, bing, bang, Gonna make my noise all day. Cling, clang, rattle, bing, bang. Gonna make my noise all day. Doesn't sound like he's sleeping, isn't he? All of Mortimer's 17 brothers and sisters heard that noise. And they all came up the stairs. Thump, 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 thump. They opened the door and yelled in a tremendous loud voice, Mortimer, be quiet. Mortimer shook his head. Yes. The brothers and sisters shut the door and went downstairs. Thump, 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 thump. As soon as they got to the bottom of the stairs, Mortimer sang. Cling, clang, rattle, bing, bang. Gonna make my noise all day. Cling, clang, rattle, bing, bang. Gonna make my noise all day. They got so upset that they called the police. The two policemen came and they walked very slowly up the stairs. Thump, 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 thump. They opened the door and said in a very deep policeman type voices, Mortimer, be quiet. The policeman shut the door and went back down the stairs. Thump, 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 thump. As soon as they got to the bottom of the stairs, Mortimer sang. 
Cling, clang, rattle, bing, bang. Gonna make my noise all day. Cling, clang, rattle, bing, bang. Gonna make my noise all day. Well, downstairs, no one knew what to do. The mother got into a big fight with the policeman. The father got into a big fight with the brothers and sisters. Jeez. And he is still upstairs. Upstairs. Mortimer got so tired waiting for someone to come up that he fell asleep. What do you think? <laughs> the end. Now, Robert Munch is an excellent author. I did not want to scream like I usually do when I read this story because this is a recording and you might get a little because I've seen your faces when I do it in the class. But do know that today when we meet on Google Meet, this will be the book that you will be listening to. Mortimer by Robert Munch. Draw your favorite part of the story. Was it when his mother put him in bed? Was it when his father came upstairs? Was it when his brothers and sisters, which were 17, came upstairs? Or was it when the two policemen came upstairs? Or maybe you just want to draw the last part. When he fell asleep. That's all up to you. Use your journal to practice. Practice drawing and practice writing. It is very important. Writing journal is an amazing tool for you to express what you're thinking to say what you want to say in words, and to show a picture of what you have up here in your head. This one has no lines. You can still use it, but you can use the one with the primary lines. And the reason why I emphasize on that is that now that I went to your house, now that I went and left in your mailbox, this sky letter formation board it's laminated for you in a paper. Take it out. Take out the marker I also left with it. I stuck a tape on it. You ready? Today we're going to do it together. We're going to write some CVC words and we're going to use the sky, the plane line, the grass line, and the worm line. And I need you to be very, very attentive because this is very important for you. Not for me, for you, because you're the one who's learning. So we're gonna start with the word mop. 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 That letter M begins on the sky or the plane line. If you said the sky, mm -mm. it's the dotted line, the plain line. So you start on the sky, I mean, sorry, you start on the plain line, come down to the grass, go up to the plain line and make a hump, go down to the, to the grass, go up again to the plain line and come back down to the grass. And that's the letter M. The letter O also starts on the plane line. You start on the plane line and go around and around and around and around, touch the grass and around and around and around and come back up to the plane line. And that's the letter M. But I said mop. So the P, you start on the plane line, come down to the worm line. Pick your marker up, go on the plane line and make a belly to touch from the sky, from the plain line to the grass line. And that is the word mop. Take a tissue, 
and erase it. If you remember, your marker has a little eraser on the top, so use that. Okay, and now we're going to do hop. Hop. Hop starts with the letter H. Does H start on the sky or the plane line? If you said the plane line, if you said the sky line, it is. So we start on the sky, come down to the grass, go up to the plane line and make a hump, touching the airplane line and coming down to the grass. We are going to do the letter O. You start on the plane line and go around and around and around and touch the grass and come back around and around and around and around and up to the plane line. And the last letter is P. You start on the plane line, come down to the worm line. Pick your marker up and go to the plane line and make a belly from the plane line to the grass line. And that says the word hop. Erase it with your eraser. And please be quickly because this is time frame for me, not for you. You can do it later. Let's start with pop. Pop has a P. Does the P start on the sky or the plane line? The plane line. Let's begin. You start on the plane line, come down to the worm line. Pick your marker up. Go to the airplane line and make a belly. Touching to the grass. The O starts on the plane line and go around and around and around and touches the grass and comes around and around and around and around up to the plane line. And the last P for pop, you start on the plane line, come down to the worm line. Pick your marker up. Go on the plane line and make a belly from the airplane line to the grass line. And that is the word pop. You can review this video again and again and practice, practice, practice. Use other rhyming words with it, others that we have tried. It's all up to you. This is yours. Practice makes it perfect and it'll look much better on your journal with primary lines. Watch the next video for math, and I'll see you later at Google Meet. Bye.